a brisk April 25th. It's like 30 degrees, legitimately. Probably less than 30 degrees. That's why we're, we're slow rolling. I figured I'd uh, light up a stogie. Today is a great day. We are finishing the electric project on the island. Which they said couldn't be done, Tyler! But we got it done. Shout out Jake Emery, shout out Ryan Gerber, and Cody, over at r, &R up in South. But they're pulling the wires on the electric today for the board. That is a very big deal. And I had to light up a stogie at uh, about 8 a.m which I think is for how much time we put in to get to this point down to the third utility. It's pretty cool. So, we'll get to see some of that today, which is going to be cool. And, uh, it's cold as fuck. Check it out. Yeah! yeah! So whenever we show up to a job site, we always drop the bore machine and track it down to the location where it will be set up. So the industry term is horizontal directional drilling or HDD for reference. So we drop the machine off in place and get rid of the trailer, get it out of the way, and then back the tanker truck up to the bore machine itself and supply it with water. The water feeds into the bore machine and helps assist in cutting the ground. Once the machine is set up and everything is cleaned and prepared and ready to go, the operator and the locator of the machine will get on the same page with the scope of work and make sure that they both understand clearly what is being done, point A to point B. At this point, they start construction and they have a path or a bore path of where the pipe will be installed. Once set up, the operator begins to drill and the locator has a little green device that gives him the ability to locate where the rods are at. The rod is set up similar to a clock with 12 being up, six being down, three being right, nine being left, that controls the ability to steer where the rods are going. Once the path is laid out, the operator then knows how to get to the destination in mind to put the pipe in the ground. At this point, he will drill out and every 10 foot or so, the locator will verify the depth and the location of the rods. Now you might be asking why there's a boat in the water with a string. So the only way to verify where the drill rods are at in the water is to physically connect a string from point to point along the path of the bore and have the locator with someone assisting him get in the water and every 10 foot check the location of that drill head. Once that location is found, the coordinates will be received from or sent to the operator from the locator and he will, he will guide him the whole entire way to that destination. Oftentimes, the operator cannot see where that end point is, so he is solely reliant on the person out front locating and giving him the coordinates. Once he gets close to the land itself, there, depending on the size of pipe, there will then be an attachment hooked up, and then the pipe pulling process will begin, and once the pipe is all pulled in, the job is complete.
All right, great day here at Muscle Island. My homeboy, Tyler Seelover, uh, Chief Operations. Uh, here's the deal. Today was a good day. We got the electric, not all the way pulled through, but bored through, right? So mm -hmm. this thing right behind us, yep. right on the other side of this sludge is the electric going under the island, under the water, out onto the other island so we can hook up electric. That is a huge deal. Now, we have a whole situation coming up with getting some water off the island so we can get the, uh, the foundation and all that stuff done. But dirt's been moved around, things are in process. I'm feeling pretty good about our situation right now, Tyler, what do you think? I feel real good too, yeah. yeah. This little tank over here, that's the transformer that's gonna be set down. That's really what's gonna service the whole island for yeah. electric and uh, one step closer. One step closer and we are learning the development process because we had, how much uh, uh, experience do we have in this before we started, Tyler? I would say effectively none for yeah. this. <laughs> I'd say we had negative 10, <laughs> but not anymore. We got plenty. <laughs> so, all right, keep following along as uh, we're building the island process and uh, stay tuned for more, thanks.